Brayshaw now claimed from behind by Campbell. This is Allen, knocked off the ball by Veroni, comes back strongly. In goes Miller. Allen, with good body strength, maintained his footing to get it to kick it. Kick it is 40 metres out. Thorne is only 35 metres out. Scott is 25 metres out. And Claremont is two goals in front. Well, good evening to you and welcome to our program of football tonight. Hope you've got those heaters turned up. Pretty cold around Western Australia. Claremont turned on the heat today after half-time at Claremont Oval. It's hard to believe that East Perth led by 31 points at half-time and lost by 41. And during the process, a lot of royal blood was spilt at Claremont Oval today. It was a fairly hectic game, especially up until half-time. In other games, Subiaco defeated Swans by 47 points and the Demons beat the Falcons by 21 points. Keith, in our match at Claremont Oval, East Perth came off second best in the injury department today and that turned the game against them. Yes, it did. They, uh, they lost Bennett, Warner and Giannakis by midway through the third quarter. They finished with 17 fit men and, of course, Claremont kicked 13-7 to East Perth's 1-4 in the second half and really that's about the story of the game. East Perth, brilliant in the first half, fell right away at the finish and uh, were beaten by, what, 41 points. And once the Claremont machine started to roll, uh, the architect, Jared Nishimi, he started the motor after half-time once it got going, it was good night, East Perth. Yes, it was a good test. He'd be both uh, sad and happy tonight, Jared Neesham, because his first half, or his team's first half, was very poor indeed for Claremont anyway, and uh, full marks to East Perth because they took the game right up to Claremont, and they gained in confidence. And, of course, when you let a side gain the initiative on you, it's very hard to get back into the game. But Claremont showed what a good side they are because when the chips were down and the game had to be won after half-time, they really got stuck in. They applied enormous pressure to East Perth, and whereas East Perth had had a lot of time to get rid of the ball in the first half, that wasn't the case in the second half because the tackling improved, the chasing improved, the pressure improved and of course East Perth were found wanting. But uh, a good first half and uh, a few lights at the end of the tunnel I thought for, for the Royals. Well in the first quarter it was players like Hawkins, Williams, Bain that got East Perth going. They were kicking into the breeze but they were the superior team in the first term. With me in commentary, Wally Foreman, Keith Slater and Ken Casellas. So a bounce down almost on the goal line by umpire Castenson. A shake right up ah. over the top. A brilliant knock down to Williams. But there's the first goal of the game. East Perth, one goal straight. Claremont get the score. But that was very intelligent and decisive ruck play by Alex Oshenko. Well, two significant factors come out of this game already. And that is that uh, Campbell has taken a couple of good strong marks. But let's have a look at the knock. A magnificent knock by Oshenko and a great understanding between him and Williams. They haven't teamed up for a few years, but the understanding's still there. 